guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna do just a little chit chat video it's on an interesting topic on multi-dating dating in general is just one of those topics that everyone loves to talk about you know it's like one of those topics when you're out with your girls and you know you're like catching up with your girls like hey girl hey are you dating are you seeing someone or are you too exclusive yet you know what's up with that so dating are one of those things i remember when i was like when i was like in my early 20s I was just like, I really didn't understand because in the beginning, I used to think that, okay, so if I would date multiple guys, I did not have to tell the one guy about the other guy. I was just like, okay, it's just dating. It's not like I'm exclusive. Like if it's my boyfriend, of course I have to say it. somebody, um, I have a boyfriend. Oh, sorry. So, so anyway, with multi-dating, you're basically dating obviously multiple people and you're not like seriously committed to someone, which I would hope you're not like seriously committed to someone and still seeing other people. So here's more what I think. I think, you know, when you're early 20s, especially like after high school into college, date, date, date. That's the time when you really, really, really um, are able to like fill out the guys or girls if that's what you like and see what you're really into. Um, you know, see, you, you get to kind of like, get to know people, you get to go out to eat, get to go to dates, do fun things, you know, different personalities and things like that. So I really don't think things are, there is anything, let me put that out there, I don't think there's anything wrong with dating multiple people. Here's where it gets tricky. I think where it gets tricky is when people, um, you start dating someone and you're not upfront with them. Like I said in the beginning, back in the day, like in college, I dated like guys and I never like if one guy would be like, hey, are you dating such and such? I would like straight up lie. That was not cool. Lying is not cool. You know, always be honest up front. If a guy now asks me, well, right now I am like exclusive with someone. But if I were dating and then man, a man asks me like, oh, a guy said, are you seeing such and such? I'd probably say, be honest, like, yeah, you know, but which is kind of awkward when someone asks you blatantly, like, are you seeing this such and such person? I'm dating, like, it's okay. And I think when you meet a person up front, you know, be upfront with them and say, okay, yeah, I am seeing different people. You know, I am um, talking to other people. You know, be upfront about what you're looking for. If you're not looking for anyone, um, but anyone, anyway, I think like if you're seeing someone like up front, like just be like, okay, like I am, you know, just say what you want. If you like are just seriously trying to be with someone, just one person, when you meet meet someone, of course, I don't, I don't really believe on the first date you should be like, listen, you know, I want to be your girlfriend or I want to be your boyfriend. Let's do this, you know. But I think on the first date, it is, you know, good to put it out there, like, you know, I'm single, you know, I am dating, I am dating to. To be exclusive with someone you know put it out there there's nothing wrong with that i feel like when i think of multi-dating i think of back in the day or they probably still say like guys would say playing the field like i'm playing the field meaning that means lady if a guy said he's playing the field he is seeing multiple women okay like okay so women play the field too but women on the other hand it's kind of like we were like um you know we play the field but we we don't really try to like like okay this guy like me but this guy like me too and if i tell this one guy that this guy like me that he may not want to talk to me anymore and like you know we may feel like that we may lose a chance however i don't think it's fair to i don't think it's fair to anybody you're seeing to kind of see multiple people behind their back because they may be like really wanting to get exclusive with you and they have no idea now it would be interesting if you had more than one guy wanting to get exclusive with you that's like i don't really know what to say about that and how you choose about that you know just you know i'm all about i don't really i'm not really into hurting feelings and you know and not to say i've never hurt feelings i've had my feelings hurt but i'm not really into like playing a lot of games it's not fair it's not fair to me for the stress is not fair to any of the guys that's interested in me. So with that saying, it's 2017, you know, date, date, date. If you're single, you know, just know what you, you know, be open and have fun. No one is saying to be promiscuous about it. No one is saying for you to be promiscuous and go and sleep around, you know, um, which I'm no, no judge to judge what anyone does, but where to find guys today, I'm really, really not the one to ask because, you know, of course, like I said, with my girls and I, we link up, we may like, oh, have you met anybody? Oh, where'd you meet some, where'd you meet him? Like, it's kind of hard, you know, especially being a young professional, you know, um, 27 years old, I don't 
I'm not gonna say I don't go to the club, but I that's just really not my scene. Maybe like if like on a special occasion if I'm like going out of town, which I still probably wouldn't go to the club. So that's not a place that I would go to meet guys. Um I don't frequent the library that often unless I have to go get books for school or something. So I'm not gonna they say go to the library, go to Starbucks. I do go to Starbucks to sit there, but if I'm going to Starbucks, I'm going there to read and to do homework and things like that. Like I said, my multiple dating, my dating multiple guys were pretty much in college, which it wasn't fun. So that's the thing about multiple dating. Like, I feel like it gets messy and sketchy and just things like that. It wasn't like always fun because I always felt like, you know, back then I wasn't like really honest with the guys. I always had to like hide and make up fibs because like I would go Red Lobster with such and such and then be back on campus with such and such, which is ultimately not a good thing because it can give you a bad name and bad reputation too, which I don't really think is fair. So that's neither here nor there. Thank God I don't have to deal with that anymore. But if today, if I was single and I had to deal with that, um, they have like eHarmony, uh, Match, things like that, which I'm still not into the online dating thing like that. I don't know how this is getting out of control when we talking about multiple dating. So let me get back to the point. The point is, I see nothing against multiple dating. I do think it's, it just gets, you know, a little weirder as you get older. Not to say you shouldn't do it, but because you can still multiple date, obviously. But I just think as you get older, it's just like, mm, you know, I mean, where are you going to go to find multiple guys? You know, I, I don't know. Again. I don't know, but I think back to my point, multiple dating should be okay for both both genders, men and women, and be upfront about who you're if you're dating, you know, and how what you're looking for. Know what you're looking for before you even step out there to start dating. Know what you're looking for, you know. Um, if you just want to play field, if you just want to have fun, and when I say have fun, just go whatever you however you define fun, then just tell the person that. Just be honest crying out loud it's not gonna hurt to have fun um oh and, and being honest never hurts so that's my take on things and let me know what you guys think about multiple dating um and let me know how you define multiple dating and let me know if you are multiple dating hey and if you want any more videos about dating and my perspective on dating and you know if i had any little advice about dating let me know so, I don't know, I can continue to ramble on or whatnot, but I found, like, this interesting article online about multi-dating, multi and this is, um, I found it, like, on Google, and this is from Tina Tassina, uh, aka Dr. Romance, ooh, um, she's a psychotherapist, just like me, and she's an author of The Unofficial Dating to Guide Against Agrees, and, in quote, she said, dating several men could be a good choice for women, because many women tend to settle for the first man who comes along. I have to totally agree with my doctor, uh, romance lady girl. Um, women do. We do tend to settle for the first man we meet. So, which obviously that leaves out options for other men. So, when I think about it, like... I Oh, okay, I got stuck where I'm going. I think that women, we often settle in a lot of things, and, and especially when it comes to relationship. So I think, also, I think that once a woman get out of a relationship, um, this is just my advice and my perspective on things. I'm never really the one who thinks it's good to just walk straight, or not walk, but go straight into a new relationship that's not healthy. Like, get yourself together, emotionally, mentally, girl. Um, yeah, I don't know. Nothing else. But keep your options open. I think it's good for women to keep their options open. Um, I think it's good for people to keep their options open. That's again, that's mob tie dating. You know, I just think, oh, well, this particular guy, or I just want this guy. I met this guy today, and this guy's rich. But he's the only one who's done this, so you need a guy. And you guys are hitting it off, and you know, a week from my wedding, you're matching your first name because last night, it seems like it's just not probably crazy, but I know I'm not the only one who's done this. Um, So multi-dating, it gives you different options. And I think, you know, we only have one life. The older I'm getting, I'm learning like, dang, I settled for things and people so quick, so fast, you know, because I was so afraid that I was never going to get anything that, you know, it really, it, it really, it wasn't good for me. It really, I lost out on a lot because of, you know, 
um, just settling so fast for things. So now, you know, if I were like looking for someone, I totally not would not meet somebody, you know, and just settle within like, let's see, um, two weeks, uh, not even a month, things. And I do think it's okay to say, you know what? Monday, I have a date with Bobby, and Friday, I have coffee with um, Leon. What's wrong with that? You know, what are you doing wrong? It's just called multi dating. That's what this is about. And let the odds forever be in your favor. So, nah. um, yeah, so that's it. I really don't have anything else to say about this. Again, um, let me know your perspectives and things like that. And we will talk in the next video. See you later.